Welcome to Trivia Tuesday. Uh, you know, a big, huge uh, thank you to Patrick Duffy for doing what you do. But uh, the biggest thing on here is, while I think a lot of people had to side with B because it was step by step, you are wrong. It is actually A, Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World, I'm not afraid to say this, I'm a sensitive guy, I'm not afraid to say that Boy Meets World season finale almost brings me to tears every single time I see it. And going through TGIF, I remember really... It took me a while to get into it. Like, the first two seasons were whatever. It was fine. It seemed like it was, you know, very centered around, uh, you know, uh, Corey. But I actually enjoyed it. I was a fan of Sean Hunter. Of course, like, I'm a 90s kid, so I'm going to have a crush on Topanga. If you're seeing this, Daniel Fischel, I just want to say that you can follow me at Darren Corbin on Twitter. Uh, you can always slide into my DMs. That's totally fine. Uh, I know you're a wrestling fan. I've seen you at PWG. I probably won't be at PWG. It's fine, though. It's okay. Uh, I digress. But I did get into the show, and then it naturally there was like this transition where I would only be able to catch it every now and then because of either sports that I had going on Fridays. Uh, the TGIF lineup wasn't as big. I was either doing other things on Fridays. I, I had events with school and sports, or maybe it was my one time where I was actually like uh, getting to, I don't know, maybe. I, I can't remember high school all that much. The sad thing is, is I was probably backyard wrestling on Fridays with friends. That makes sense. I was that kind of nerd. But what happened is when I went to college, I actually was able to reconnect. And it was always on ABC Family. And I remember watching episodes and episodes and episodes. And, like, the thing that I really liked that ABC Family would do is they would start at the beginning and go all the way through. And you knew there was a pivotal point where they hit and you would watch and go from there. And so you have your eras and you have all that stuff. And there was a lot of moments that were... Real big tear jerkers. They introduced characters I thought very well. Um, obviously, I was a big fan of Eric. I thought his character was great. It made me laugh. I also really liked uh, Sean Hunter. I mean, like, that was just a given. But I also looked into Mr. Feeney as doing a special shout out. Um, but, you know, maybe down the road. Uh, maybe 300? We'll see if Feeney's interested. I don't know. But I really liked the show. And, uh, I still, it still stands out to me. Uh, it was really good of like growing up and maturing and maybe it was because I was around the same age as a lot of the characters and felt like I was going through the same thing and like understanding it and understanding high school, and middle school and all that stuff and the connections that you make. But definitely like I did think it was amusing that Feeney followed him all the way through. I got to find, they did a decent job of making that relevant. But like Feeney is just a teacher at heart. Uh, and the neighbor, you know, he was there. He was a part of everything. But uh you know, that last episode when he says, I love you all, always brings a tear to my eye, and that's why Boy Meets World will always be my favorite of the TGIF lineup. 